Love changes everything. It is the Andrew Lloyd Webber 80s earworm that hung around in the charts for 15 weeks back in the day and introduced the world to musical theatre pin-up Michael Ball. How you live and how you die. Now, over 30 years later, he's back singing it again as Aspects of Love returns to the West End, bracing himself for yet more heckles in the street. I get oh. love changes everything, Michael. <laughs> Does love change everything, Michael? Oh, yeah. 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 And does it? How, how did this oh my God. change things for you in your This career? show literally changed my life on, on every level. It's a little more problematic to stage now with the original production about the sexual awakening of a 15-year-old. To seem less predatory, ages have been tweaked and an emphasis put on female empowerment. It's weird, isn't it? This is not something that was was ever a feature in 1989, but now it very much is. And we have to be sensitive to those issues and change the narrative. Uh, it's important. What also wasn't talked about then was mental health. And what isn't widely known is as his career began, so too did a period of anxiety, depression and panic attacks. My first West End show, everything should have been amazing. And my world imploded. And I I made the error of not talking about it, not getting help. And it makes you vulnerable and it makes you very aware that you need to, you need to be well. Thankfully, there was no need to feel nervous when Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber came to watch one of the musical's early previews. He came up with tears in his eyes, put his arms around me and just thanked me and said this. The only time I felt this was on the first preview of Phantom. It was really special and so unlike him. <laughs> Love changes everything. But what would love changes everything being quite a fun one to sing along to? Are they worried about audience participation? There will be murders. They can't hit that top note. <laughs> I hope it doesn't happen because there is nothing more distracting. Behave yourself. Behave yourselves. You'll have a better night. Theatre fans, you have been warned. Katie Spencer, Sky News.